I saw the most interesting thing on social media this morning about iPadOS 18 adding support for formatting external drives. Now I actually checked for this when the first beta came out, but if a feature is implemented differently than you think it will be, then it's easy to miss. And that was what's happened here. I will link to the Mac Stories article and the blog post thing linked to in the description. So after I read this, I went out and bought a flash drive because I'm actually on vacation this week and I don't have all my stuff with me, but I wanted to test this out. So just real quick here, let's plug in this drive and see what this feature looks like. So let's go ahead and jump into the files app and we'll see that our drive is showing up in the sidebar as USB disk. Let's go ahead and tap and hold on that and we should get a context menu and we have an option to erase it. Go ahead and tap that, we get presented with this dialog that gives us a number of options. So we have the different formatting options that iPadOS supports. FAT32 is compatible with both Windows and Apple devices. Same with XFAT, I believe. And then we have APFS, Apple File System, which would be best if you know you're only gonna use your drive with other Apple devices. Interestingly here, we have a couple options to make the drive either case sensitive, or we can make it encrypted and put a password here, which is something I actually do a lot, and I'm super stoked this is here. At the top here, we actually have the option to rename this disk, so let's do that while we're at it. I'm gonna name this drive, we're gonna call it test drive, and we'll go ahead and erase it. Hit the progress spinner in the sidebar, and the disk reappears, and it's been formatted. Now in this case, I didn't change the format, but you get the idea. This was really high on my iPad OS wish list, and I'm pretty happy that with seemingly no fanfare, this feature is here. Standard disclaimer though, just because a feature shows up in the beta doesn't mean it's going to make it in the final release. So it is entirely possible that this could get pulled at some point in the beta, but as of right now, it's looking pretty good. Thanks for watching this quick video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.